this week's Parsha, it tells us about the seven of the ten Mako brought on Mitzrayim. The second of the Mako was Svardea, frogs. Quoting the opinion of Rabbi Akiva, Rashi explains of the plague of frogs began. Rabbi Akiva says that at the first one, large frog out of the Nile River, and the Egyptians did not like it, so they hit it. As they struck it, it multiplied and doubled. Let's try and picture this scene. One big frog comes out of the river, and the Egyptian picks up a stick and hits it. When he does, the frog multiplies into two big frogs. What do you do now? Maybe put down a stick? Not the Egyptians. They all grab sticks and be all the frogs again and again and again. Now instead of two frogs, there were hundreds of little froggies jumping <laughs> all over the place. And the more little frogs jumping around, the more Egyptians joined and hit them. The more times they stuck the frogs, the more frogs they were. This seems a little bit silly. At some point, should the Egyptians not have realized that they should just stop hitting the frog? Just imagine how much simpler this plague would have been. The Egyptians stopped when five or six little frogs were jumping around. The truth is that, it, that the Egyptians became angry with each frog that multiplied. And once a person becomes angry, unfortunately, they can lose control over themselves and do things they will re later regret. In this case, the Egyptians were so angry that they refused to see the options solutions to their frog problem. From here, we should learn the importance of learning to control our anger and not, God forbid, allow anger to take over. Shabbat Shalom! Shabbat shalom.